New on Daybreak, new research that contradicts what mothers have been told in the past about marijuana and breastfeeding. So Nina Criscolo looked into the study and spoke to a local doctor about the findings. Nina, how do Indiana ho hospitals handle this issue? Well, every hospital has its own policy concerning this in terms of what they'll recommend for a mother or baby who tests positive for marijuana. In 2017, the Indiana State Health Commissioner said more than 20% of babies' umbilical cords tested for drugs came back positive for marijuana exposure in utero, so many would believe those mothers may continue using pot while breastfeeding. At IU Health, doctors do not recommend breastfeeding for moms who use marijuana as long as the baby is born full term. Now, if the baby is born premature, Riley Hospitalist Dr. Emily Scott says the risk to the baby of not breastfeeding is higher than the potential harm from THC being present in the breast milk. Still new research out of Colorado that included just eight mothers, a relatively small pool, showed THC in breast milk peaks about one hour after marijuana use and then drops to, quote, virtually nothing after about three or four hours, similar to alcohol. Those moms were given controlled doses of marijuana that was regulated by the state since it is legal in Colorado. Dr. Scott says while the research is interesting, she cautions that it isn't a Real life situation, especially for Hoosier moms. Our moms who are using marijuana here in Indiana are getting it off the street or from a dealer, and we don't know how much is in there, and they often aren't using it just a single time and then following it. It is important to note other studies have found that exposure to THC through breast milk is associated with decreased motor development in babies. So while doctors highly recommend mothers breastfeed for all the benefits that come with it, they want to make sure mothers are doing that safely. We see this a lot, right, with various studies on various topics. You see one thing, it's good, it's bad, red wine, <laughs> coffee, all these things. Oh, yeah. So we need to filter through a lot of information out there to find what the truth is for yeah, us. Google isn't always so helpful, right? When we're looking into these things, you can pretty much find a study to back up any standpoint. So how do you filter through it all? Right. Uh, the doctors say stick with really trusted sources, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Go to those for your information because they've sorted through it all for you. And watch for changes like the ones you bring us too, because Absolutely. sometimes even those august sort of bodies change their perspective exactly. on things. Mm -hmm. Nina, thanks. Yep. Hey.